How you doing? It's Mike from Iron Horse Overland. Uh, got a new product at Overland Expo Mountain, or not Mountain, but East, sorry. Um, it's called Truck Claw. It's a recovery tool. It's a aluminum block that ratchet straps onto your tires and acts as a cleat to help you get recovered. Um, the guy had some really good videos of, of vehicles being recovered and um, thought it was pretty cool. So we, we got a set, we got their off-road recovery kit and I'm gonna do an unboxing and we'll see how, see what you think of it. And we'll come out with a uh, review of a uh, review of it in the future. So we'll be right back with you and let's open the box up and see what we got. All right. Oh, but check this out before I go. This is, we're coming to you from, it's a, it's a National Park Service campground, but we're on the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. And the colors are just beautiful. That's my boy George's uh, Sprinter van. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. So we'll be with you in just a minute. So we're back and uh, you get it in a nice cardboard, envelope, uh, cardboard box. And let's see what we got in here. Got installation uh, instructions. You have a, comes with a nice bag if you want to store them in the bag. And it's a good quality nylon bag. Surprising, uh, a lot of companies don't provide that. You have uh, another nylon storage piece. Nice heavy duty uh, ratchet straps. This is their off-road kit. So you get four of the truck claws and then you get, so you get four of these truck claws. And then two extra ratchet straps. A little bit of swag. And then you get this bar that slips into it so you can do other accessories. As we said, I mean, it comes um, very nice, but you know, I th you can store these in the bag or you can wrap them, attach them to your, your spare, and then they're always available for you. The kit runs, I believe, around 390 bucks. And instead of having two sets of max tracks, one on, you know, you got two set, carrying two sets of max tracks, these just get attached to your spare tires and you always have them. You don't have to worry about where you're gonna put those big max, track, max tracks. So, um, haven't used them yet, but once we use them, the quality's good. Nice, thick, stepped aluminum. And this area right here, you notice you got a shorter area and you got a longer, a taller area. And this is what's going to grab into the ground to give you that added traction. Um, but yes, it looks like a very solid uh, system. 
and once we uh, get a chance to use them, I'll get back to you. But this is what you get in the box, and everything looks very nice. I mean, you get, and it's pretty self-explanatory to, to set up on your on your vehicle. And I think, as you know, space and weight. I think these are going to uh, allow us to not take up as much space with max tracks. So uh, once we use them, I'll get back to you. All right, thanks. All right, Debbie, I'll probably need your help. Everything over there has three leads. Hey, it's Mike with Iron Horse Overland. I thought I'd give you a, a little idea how these truck claws work. So you set your truck claw up on top or to the back of your tire with the arrows pointing in the direction it turns. And then you run your strap through the uh, spoke in the, in the wheel and then you ratchet it. Hold on one second. Hey, babe, hold this while I ratchet. I'm going to have my beautiful co-pilot and wife video while I do this. Hold on one second. And now, so once you get it on there, there's no more digging holes out of your, out in front of your tire, getting your max tracks under there. You just tighten them down tight. You can use one on one wheel or one in each rear wheel, or you can put one on all four wheels if you're really stuck. And then they just act like cleats, like football cleats or any other kind of cleat that grabs and digs in and it pulls you out. So that's just a quick uh, idea of how they work. And once we actually try them, then we'll come back and do some further videos. Thank you. Also, one last thing. This attachment here, when I talked about it originally, it's what it does is when you insert it in the truck claw, it gives you more surface area to grab the ground. So if you take it and you take the the attachment, it's kind of hard doing this on when I'm holding the camera, but you slide it in here like this and then you slip it in. So now instead of it just grabbing on this one, this one cleated area, it gives you all this, probably about eight inches more of surface area to grab the ground. And as you drive, it locks this into place so it won't come back out.
So that, I thought that was pretty ingenious. They do have other uh, attachments that if you drill a hole through here, excuse me, through here, you can bolt in another accessory that actually puts almost like a paddle on this, which was designed for the military to use, but you can also use on this. So instead of having this five or six inches wide surface area grabbing the ground, like if you're in the snow or mud or something like that, with this, you've got a lot more surface area to grip the ground. So pretty ingenious invention. And I think, and I think it's gonna work great. I've seen videos of it and you would think that that longer bar would bend, but in the videos, I've not seen any of them bend probably because of the design. So I've never used a, a product like this. But, I, you know, I don't like getting stuck, but I'm looking forward to it if we do get stuck. All righty. Thanks.